Yo guys, what is up? Davis here, and I've been waiting so long for this XE build to come out. Like, it's been taking forever, and I literally just woke up, and I woke up to people saying, hey, the new XE build is out and all this stuff, so I'm glad it's out. I'm not a morning person, but I'm, I'm seriously glad, I'm seriously glad it's released. So, um, here's the update, and it's asking me to update to, uh, 17489, which is the new dash that just came out, and, you know, if this is the RGH console and you press yes, it's gonna, it might break your console. Um, I'm not gonna update it doing it like that, but I'm just gonna show you guys that it's on 17349 right now. Basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go on the computer and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do from there. All right, hey guys, now that we're on the computer, basically these are the files that you're gonna be needing. Um, I'm not gonna be using neighborhood, I don't think, but um, basically you're gonna plug in your flash drive because you're gonna need that. And just drag and drop simple name flasher right into there. And basically what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be getting a copy of our NAND. If you don't have your original NAND dump, that's okay, because we can do it this way. Um, now if you did break your console and you don't have a backup of your NAND, then that's kind of bad because there's not gonna be really any way to uh, fix it unless you send it to someone like me who can make a new NAND and all that good stuff. But um, now we're gonna go back to the Xbox and I'm gonna show you guys what to do from there. All right guys, so now that we're back on our Xbox, we're gonna go over to my games and XCX menu. And then we're gonna click RB and you're gonna plug in your flash drive right here. And then um, you don't need to copy the simple NAND flash to your hard drive. Um, but basically all you're gonna do is just click A on that and then click A on the first one and then hit default.xex. And we're gonna press X to back up our NAND. And then we're gonna click, uh, click B and we're gonna do a full NAND dump just to be sure we got everything. Alright guys, so we are done dumping our NAND. Um, we're gonna press exit and then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna meet you guys back on the computer. Um, take your flash drive out of, this, of the Xbox and plug it in. Yo, what is up guys? Alright, so now that we're on our computer, we got our NAND backed up now on our flash drive, so that's what we want. Uh, first thing I wanna say is I'm going to be showing you guys a separate part in the video just for the 4GB Corona because uh, it's a little bit of a different way of um, making the NAND image and stuff like that. So uh, right after I do this NAND image, I'm going to make another one just for 4GB Coronas. But um, basically, we're going to go open our, um, this, our flash drive. We're going to go into Simple 360 NAND Flasher. Simple 360, and then we're gonna copy our Flash DMP, which is our the backup of our NAND. We're gonna drag and drop that onto our desktop, which I already have done. So uh, just X out of that. Now we're gonna go to XE Build folder, and we're gonna go to XE Build GUI, XE Build. Open that. X out of that, and then we're gonna drag and drop this in here. And then it'll load the backup of our NAND. So um, usually it gets a lot of stuff correct. Um, like my console is RGH1, so that's what it selected. And my console is a Jasper Big Block. Um, if you guys have a RGH1.2 or RGH2 console, you're gonna select RGH2. If you have a RGH1, then you're gonna select RGH1. And uh, if you have a JTAG, just select free boot JTAG and um, make sure you have the correct motherboard and you're gonna need your CPU key which I have right there so um, uh, copy and paste your CPU key uh, how to get your CPU key is you go you, you can boot up Zell to get your CPU key um, or you could go to dash launch and you go into dash launch and you press LB 
and then you go to system info and then it'll be at the top left I'm pretty sure so um, just type your CPU key, CPU key in there and then you're gonna select your dashboard version uh, we're gonna select 17489 because that's the newest um, dashboard version and then select Zell Reloaded and all these up here should be checked if you do not have them checked then dash launch isn't going to work so make sure you have all four of these checked up here and we're going to click check KV and all this stuff should pop up um, if it, all this stuff doesn't pop up then you have your own CPU key so make sure you have your correct CPU key because that is very important so uh, after you've done all that we're going to click generate hacked image and now it's creating our new NAND click cancel so you can, so you can look at everything but uh, our kernel is 17489 which is correct Jasper big block uh, glitch 1 Zill serial number all that good stuff all that looks correct so uh, we can X out of this now hey guys alright so this is for the 4 gigabyte Corona now we're gonna be doing that or the Corona V2 or V um, V4 and V5 and all those um, all those con all those type of consoles it won't let you use uh, flash 360 and it won't let you write UPD flashes through Zell so uh, you gotta do you gotta have simple 360 NAND flasher to write it um, but so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now um, this is a 4 gigabyte Corona NAND that I got off here of uh, one of my consoles that I did but um you're gonna go to removable disk or flash drive and then uh, simple 360 NAND flasher, simple 360 again and then there's you're gonna see your flash DMP in there move that copy it to your desktop and then um, we're gonna open up XE build now and then XE build again then we're gonna run the XE build program we're gonna X out of this because I don't need it and we're gonna drag the D flash DMP, which is our copy of our name. We're gonna drag that right in there. And since it's a four gigabyte Corona, the, this program it doesn't how do I say it? It doesn't like know what it is basically. So you know, can't determine if it's small block man. Do you want to continue anyways? Yes. So um, if you guys don't have a four gigabyte Corona, then you know just skip this part. Um, if you have a Trinity, Jasper, Falcon, Corona V1, Corona V3, just skip this part. So, um, or even Jet or Xenon and Zephyr. But um, we're gonna switch to advanced mode, and we're gonna disable file safe. Um, and since it's a slim, we're gonna click RGH2 and Corona, and we're gonna need our CPU key, which I have right there so and select your the correct dashboard version which is 17489 that's the newest one we're updating to and we're gonna click open we're gonna select that right there make sure you include dash launch include all that good stuff um, check KV uh, if you click that it's going to give you this error because it can't determine which console it is so um, basically now we're going to click generate hack image and it's going to say once again can't determine uh, we're going to click yes and then this is going to pop up and right here we're going to type in 4G and we're going to save it so here's the old one and now here's the new one that we just edited so save and cancel so you can view everything so we got corona I can't even highlight it but build glitch 2 zill serial number console ID um, DVD key all that good stuff so make sure all that is correct uh, and um, uh, that's basically all that you gotta do in here now and over here you can see our new UPD flash and 
also guys I got some new stuff right here for you um, this is a new XBDM the new Infernus uh, I don't know how good it is but we're gonna test it so then I got the new launch I and I um so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to removable this drive or whatever um, simple 360 NAND flasher and go in there and we're gonna delete these two uh, before we you delete them make sure you have a backup of flash 360 or flash DMP make sure you have a backup of that I do over here as you can see that's very important so go ahead and delete those and we're gonna drag UPD flash in here and it'll take a little bit to copy alright after that's done copying we're gonna go back to the flash drive and I've already moved everything in here but you're basically gonna copy these three folders these three files right here drag and drop them into there and then um, you're good to go also I want to explain this this comes with the XE build um, folder or the program when you download it what it is is it's actually uh, ninja stealth you gotta pay for it um, I put it on my console I updated my dashboard already and I tested it out and it looks pretty good when you put it on all the um, it changes the notifications to like pink I think or something it looks pretty good but um, you can't go online with it because you gotta pay for it so uh, if you guys would like to go buy from the from Ninja Stealth and go ahead and check them out and I think it's Team Execute I'm not sure but um, I'm not gonna have a link to their stuff but uh, we're gonna be using Inferno to get online so um, yeah just make sure you have all three of these files copied to the to your flash drive and now I'm gonna show you guys what to do on your Xbox alright yo what's up guys now that we're on our Xbox we're gonna go to mind games XEX menu uh, we're gonna click RB now and we're gonna plug in our flash drive and we're gonna copy in front of us launch on I and then B, XBDM. So how do you copy these? Are you, you click you sh click Y, then you click copy. You're gonna press X, then you go down to HDD. Then you're gonna press Y and paste, and you're gonna do that for all three of them. And it's pretty simple. And after you do that, we're gonna go to simple 360 NAND flasher simple 360 again and then our UPD flash is in there which is good and we're going to click default.xex and we're going to click A because we want to flash our NAND and then we're going to press start to flash your NAND so press start and then it'll start writing the NAND uh, don't touch it don't, don't touch your controller turn your Xbox off because this could do some this could mess your console up so just be careful with it and let it do its thing alright guys so it's done writing and it says it's shutting down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bye alright guys so once it shuts down you're gonna unplug your console just for a few seconds and then plug it back in and turn it on I just plugged in a Ethernet cable too, so um, we should be online. Possibly if my KV is not banned. The furnace active update required. So we are online, guys. This is the avatar update. It shouldn't take too long. If you guys got this far, then that means you did really good. So. You guys check out please check out my Instagram and please check out my Facebook page and all that good stuff rate comment and subscribe um, I've literally made this video like five times because I messed up but 
that's because I just suck at everything. But yeah, guys, uh, I really appreciate appreciate you guys watching my videos and all that stuff. Um, I came a long ways. I remember when I was at like five subscribers. All right, guys, so it's done doing the avatar update, and our console should restart. Yep, it's doing it right now. So. Um, might turn off, I don't know, I'm not sure. Probably not. It says in front is active. And also, those are blue notifications I have. Those, those do not come with the plugins that I gave you guys. Um, I'll probably make another video how to set them up. It's really simple, but... Um, Mad Shark sign into Xbox Live. There we go, son. So, we're online, guys. Once again, please check out all my media stuff. That really helps me out. So, yeah, guys, um, everyone have a great day.